Welcome ladies and gentlemen to Stevis King Entrepreneurship, a place for future successful entrepreneurs. Today, we delve into the fascinating world of wealth building strategies. We're going to take a revealing look at the habits and practices of the wealthy, pulling back the curtain on the often overlooked ways in which they manage, save, and invest their money. Understanding these strategies isn't just about mimicking the rich, it's about fostering financial literacy and cultivating a mindset that prioritizes long-term wealth building. Whether you're an entrepreneur on the rise, a seasoned business owner, or someone simply interested in improving your financial health, there's value in understanding how the rich handle their money. So buckle up, because we're about to embark on a journey into the world of financial savvy. Stay tuned as we uncover the 12 ways the rich save money that the poor and middle class might not be familiar with. The first strategy is outsourcing tasks. The rich value their time and often delegate tasks that can be done by others. Now, let's dive deeper into what that means. Consider the tasks that fill up your day, like housekeeping or grocery shopping. They're necessary, but they're also time-consuming. What if you could delegate these tasks to someone else? Well, that's exactly what many wealthy individuals do. They outsource these tasks to free up their time. And it's not just about having extra time to relax or pursue hobbies. It's about freeing up mental bandwidth to focus on income-generating activities. Think about it. Each hour spent on a mundane task is an hour not spent on your business or on your investments. By delegating these tasks, you're essentially buying time, a resource even more valuable than money because once spent, you can't get it back. So the key takeaway here is, don't be afraid to delegate. It's not about being lazy, it's about being efficient. By outsourcing, the rich can focus on what they do best, creating more wealth. The second strategy is prioritizing health. You might be wondering, what does health have to do with saving money? Well, a lot more than you think. Wealthy individuals understand that health is a long-term investment. They're not shy about scheduling regular checkups, even when they're feeling on top of the world. Why? Because prevention is always better and cheaper than cure. Now let's talk about fitness. A gym membership might seem like a luxury for some, but for the affluent, it's another investment. They know that regular exercise keeps them fit, boosts their productivity, and reduces the risk of costly health issues down the line. And what about diet? The rich don't skimp on nutritious quality food. They know that eating well today can save a fortune in future medical bills. They're not just investing in their wealth, they're investing in their well-being. Remember, the value of good health is beyond measure, and it's something that money can't buy. So the next time you're thinking about skipping that doctor's appointment or that workout session, think again. A healthy body is a wealth magnet. Our third strategy is bulk buying. Now, let's delve into this topic, shall we? You see, one of the many strategies the wealthy employ to save money is by purchasing items in large quantities or bulk. You might think, but doesn't that mean they're spending more? Well, not exactly. Here's the catch. When you buy in bulk, you often get hefty discounts that you wouldn't otherwise receive when purchasing items individually. It's like getting a wholesale price for the cost of retail. This strategy is particularly useful for non-perishable items and things you use frequently. Think about it. If you're going to use it eventually, why not buy it all at once and save some money? It's a simple yet effective strategy. Not only does it save money, but it also saves time. No need to make constant trips to the store when you have everything you need at home. Remember though, it's essential to buy wisely. Don't just buy in bulk for the sake of it. Be strategic. Buy what you need and what you know you will use. That's the key to making bulk buying work for you. Bulk buying is a smart way to save money on necessities. The fourth strategy is home cooking. It's no secret that dining out can quickly rack up a hefty bill, not to mention, it's often less nutritious than a home-cooked meal. Now, you may be thinking, but don't wealthy people hire private chefs? Well, not as often as you'd think. Many successful individuals actually enjoy the process of cooking. It's a chance to get creative, control what goes into their meals, and even unwind after a busy day. Plus, it's much cheaper than eating out or ordering in every day. Think of it this way. 
the money saved from preparing your own meals could be invested elsewhere, growing your wealth over time. And let's not forget the health benefits of knowing exactly what's on your plate. So the next time you're tempted to order takeaway, why not try your hand at a new recipe instead? Cooking at home is a cost-effective and healthy habit. The fifth strategy is resisting impulse buying. You know how it is. You're browsing online or wandering through a store, and you see something that you just have to have. But wait! The rich don't let themselves get carried away by the lure of instant gratification. Instead, they take time to think before they buy. They consider whether they really need the item, whether it's worth the price, and how it fits into their overall financial plan. In other words, they don't let their buying decisions be ruled by their emotions or by spur-of-the-moment whims. They think, they plan, and they resist the siren call of impulse buying. It's not always easy, but it's a strategy that can save a lot of money in the long run. Remember, every dollar you don't spend is a dollar you can save or invest. Impulse buying can drain your wallet, resist the urge. The sixth strategy is finding cost-effective ways to have fun. Now this may sound a bit surprising, but it's true. Wealthy folks have a knack for finding enjoyment in simple, affordable activities. They understand that joy doesn't always come with a hefty price tag. Take outdoor activities for instance, a hike in the woods, a day at the beach, or a bike ride in the park. These are all cost-effective ways to unwind and have a great time. Not to mention, they're also great for your health. Alternatively, the rich often prefer hosting parties or gatherings at their homes. This not only saves them the cost of booking an expensive venue, but it also gives them an opportunity to show off their culinary skills, or even their impressive wine collection. You see, it's all about perspective. The rich have mastered the art of finding joy in the simple things. They know that you don't need to break the bank to have a memorable experience. After all, the best things in life aren't things, they're moments. Having fun doesn't have to be expensive. The seventh strategy is seeking financial advice. Now you might wonder what's so special about that, but here's the thing, the wealthy don't just stumble upon their fortune, they make it, nurture it, and grow it. And one of the ways they do this is by seeking professional financial advice. They understand that finance can be a complex beast. It's not just about earning and spending, but also about investing, saving, and planning for the future. So they turn to financial advisors, who have the expertise to guide them through this labyrinth. These advisors provide insights on a range of financial matters, from investments and tax planning, to retirement and estate planning. They help the rich make informed decisions, ensuring their wealth not only remains intact, but also continues to grow. It's like having a personal trainer, but for your finances. They help you set your financial goals, devise a plan to achieve them, and then keep you on track. The rich understand that their wealth is a tool, and like any tool, it needs to be used correctly to yield the best results. And that's where financial advice comes in. It's not about having someone dictate your financial decisions, but rather about gaining the knowledge and understanding to make those decisions yourself. Financial advice is a key to making sound money decisions. The eighth strategy is investing in assets that increase in value. Now this is where the rich really start to pull away from the rest. You see, they understand that money isn't just for spending, it's also for making more money. And one of the best ways to do that is by investing in appreciating assets. These can be stocks, bonds, real estate, or even a startup business. The key here is that these assets are expected to increase in value over time. So, instead of just sitting in a bank account, this money is working, growing, and multiplying. Take real estate, for instance. Property values typically rise over time, and while you're waiting for that to happen, you can also be earning rental income if you choose to lease out the property, or consider stocks. While they can be a bit more volatile, over the long haul, they have been shown to provide a solid return on investment. By putting their money into these types of assets, the rich are effectively planting financial seeds. And as these seeds grow, they can reap the benefits and further increase their wealth. Investing in appreciating assets is a way to build wealth over time. The ninth strategy is building strong relationships and networks. 
In the world of wealth creation, it's often said that who you know can be just as important as what you know. The wealthy understand the value of surrounding themselves with influential, successful individuals. They actively seek to build strong relationships and networks, which can lead to new business opportunities and partnerships. These relationships are not just about financial gain, but also about learning and growth. By being in the company of those who have achieved success, one can gain insights and knowledge that can be instrumental in their own wealth-building journey. Networking isn't about transactional relationships, but rather about building genuine connections based on mutual respect and shared interests. This can lead to opportunities that might not have been available otherwise. And it's not just about attending high-profile events or galas. It can be as simple as striking up a conversation with a new acquaintance or maintaining regular communication with existing contacts. Remember, it's about quality, not quantity. It's better to have a few meaningful relationships than a large number of superficial ones. So, take the time to nurture these relationships. After all, your network is your net worth. Let's summarize the 12 ways the rich save money. They often outsource tasks to free up their time for more important activities. They prioritize their health and well-being, understanding that prevention is better than cure. They buy in bulk, taking advantage of discounts and avoiding frequent trips to the store. They cook their own meals, which is not only healthier, but also more cost-effective. The rich resist impulse buying, always keeping their long-term financial goals in mind. They find cost-effective ways to have fun, proving that enjoyment doesn't always have to come with a hefty price tag. They seek financial advice to make informed decisions about their wealth. They invest in assets that appreciate in value over time, providing them with a steady source of income. Lastly, they build strong relationships and networks. After all, your network is your net worth. These strategies show the different ways the rich manage their money to build and sustain wealth. Emulating these can put you on the path to financial success. Thank you for joining us on this journey into the world of wealth building strategies. We've shared 12 key habits that the wealthy use to safeguard their fortunes. Why not give these methods a try? After all, wealth isn't just about making money, it's about preserving and growing it too. It's time to redefine your approach to savings and spending. Remember, every step you take, no matter how small, gets you closer to your goal. Subscribe to Steffis King Entrepreneurship for more videos and until next time, keep building your empire.